are now creating a new wetland on site. This field has never been good for any wildlife at all because it's completely covered in rush. We wanted to find a way to take all the water that was in the field and focus it into an area that was that's going to really benefit stuff that's already here but also maybe bring in new stuff. So we are digging a drainage ditch which goes from one end of the wetland to the other. and that will be the main way to con control water. And then from that ditch, there'll be different pools that will come off in different directions. I mean, we really won't know exactly how wet it will be until we start getting some rain in it. But, you know, knowing how wet the field is without doing all this work, we're excited that it's going to be really good. So we're trying to make it so that you've got, like with other places on the site, a variety of different habitats which will bring in a variety of different species. But we'll also have control of water levels so that we can, we can drain the water right down and create that really like open muddy area. We can drain it totally down so we can get on and cut the field and, and maintain and reduce rush levels in that way. But we can also let the water level fill right right up in the winter so that we get ducks and we get geese and we get all sorts of, of, of different interesting things and of course with all of that will come invertebrates and different plants and the spreading of the rest of the the triple si which is not very far away you know starting to to grow it in this direction really into what is essentially just a not very well drained farm field This winter we'll have, this field will all be wet and there'll be some nice grazing areas where the green and white fronted geese will come in and they'll land and they'll feed. Um, and they're, they're, they're such beautiful birds and it, that would be absolutely fantastic to see that. And then we'll also get lots of the ducks coming in. So as it gets colder, we get more wildfowl coming in, things like tufted ducks and teal and widgeon and they'll come in and they'll some will dabble around the edges and some will dive into the deeper bits. I mean the other thing that we really want to attract in is amphibians so we we'll want to see the frogs and the toads or we want to see frogs spawn in the in the pools and we want to see um, newts appearing and you know um, lizards basking on the rocks around the edges um, and then manage all of the, the rest of the, the vegetation and then comes back round to the winter and all starts again. In a lot of the projects that we've done on the site over the last eight years have either been about infrastructure and improving infrastructure or about creating more space for, for visitors on the site and all of those things are important but it's, it's really exciting to do something that's really just about ecology and if it works really well we'll be looking at ways that we can make it so that people can see that as well but for now the focus is purely on let's make an amazing wetland.